All right, welcome back everyone to another episode of John and Eric's Epic Adventures into Skyrim. One of the things that you probably noticed is that we are on season two. Yes, we are officially starting season two, and that is because on this episode, we are going to be getting the Horn of Yorlin Windcaller, going back to the summit of the Throat of the World, way down here, right, at High Hoth Hothgar, I can't even say it, uh, Hrothgar. So we have to pick up the horn, bring it to them, and then we will have all three uh, words for uh, unrelenting force shout. During today, we're also gonna be grabbing the rueful axe and bringing it back down to Clavicus Vile and finishing that quest as well, just right here. So we're basically gonna knock it all out in one big swing. We might have time to get Dawnbreaker from Meridia, but we're probably not gonna work on that right at the beginning of the, uh, the episode. So anyway, uh, here, let me bring the map back up. We, we're up here now, right? I made it all the way up here. Uh, the While we traveled, we ended up getting a lot of animals, and these were just, you know, attacked by a wolf, you know, slash at it, now it's dead. No! Ah! Uh, where did it go? What the hell just happened? What the heck was that? All right, hold on, we're gonna... <laughs> that wasn't very cool. I was like, what the heck? One of the... So one of the... Uh, the soldiers that were up top fell. Okay, so I'm gonna grab them. Right? So this, this is all of the different loot that I collected from up there. Just because I didn't want to do that on stream, I was gonna be like, ugh, it's just painful, right? We we're gonna probably skip past it anyway. So I didn't break any uh, of their stuff down, right? So it's lots of different clothes. I just grabbed everything. And then here are some of the animals that we collected. So an ice wolf, two other normal wolves, um, a fox, an elk, a deer. The these were actually killed by the wolves. And then, um, yeah, the these two were killed by the wolves, and then the wolves were killed by the soldiers. So we were just kind of sitting there, or at least I was like, okay, great, free dinner, right? Now what I'm gonna do is like drag this person over because I guess they fell through the world and I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna put them right there. Solid ground, okay. I'm gonna do another quick save. <laughs> Excellent, because there, there are no containers out here and we're basically just gonna take everything and then ride back to the horse. Um, <laughs> I, Bung Hao, I don't know what you're requesting uh, for a hat, so you'll have to spell it out for me. Anyway, I, I did a little bit of research about this cave, and it's really small. Like, there's really nothing in there. So, we it's, it's 6 p.m., it's about 6.30 in-game right now. So, what we can do is we'll take... What's, like, the smallest food item I have? I guess we could take a horker stew, but it would almost be a waste. Yeah, we'll just take it because I'm a little bit hungry anyway. We don't even really need a beef stew. Ah, oh, sorry, Bung Hao. That, uh... So I, I have, like, a bear coat, but I don't have it as redeemable because it's just way too warm. Like, I, I overheat after about five minutes. Come on. Right. Okay, that did like nothing. I think that's just because I missed. Oh, all right, all right. Whoa. Let's just go for it. Oh, okay. Did I kill him? Oh, wow, okay. So I just basically like ran through him. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So let's see, Arcane Ward, eh. What was back over here on this thing, right? Yeah, I, I killed him by just like running over him. So Frost Salts, those are always good. What we got, what we got. And so here it is, it's right by the entrance, right? The Rufal Axe. It's worth 16,000 gold, good lord. Uh, we'll, we'll take the silver bowl, because silver is usually always worth it to take. There's a scroll there. I don't think we have anything to break down. 
And yeah, like that's that's it. That, that's the dungeon. That's the whole thing. It feels like a whole mountain of rock is above us. So we'll do a couple other aquamarine nice. Oh no! Ah, he's being crushed. Ah, oh, the poor skull. I don't know. I guess we'll grab the doe antlers. Uh, yeah, we'll take all the snowberries, some extra snowberries. Take those, and we're gonna we're gonna loot that in a moment, right? Getting all these first garlic. Empty. I didn't even notice. Oh, an apple, an apple pie. Sure, we'll take all the snacks, right? Looks like we've already read that. A a septum. Nice bed. And then the real loot, right? Oh my goodness. Okay. Huh. So we'll we'll go from the top right. Three, three ancient texts that are all the same type, right? Four of them total. Nice bow. That's okay, right? Soul gem fragments. Um, this isn't even worth taking. Look at that. It's, it's less than a hundred gold. Ugh. That's a little bit better. Fire resistance by forty five percent. We can hold on to this. There it is. Fire resistance and use this in dragon fights. So, definitely holding on to that. A ruined book at 600 gold? Wow. That's pretty good, too. Lightning Strike. Looks pretty powerful. I guess we'll take these since we're going to kind of be over encumbered anyway. And uh, once we go outside, not bad. Here, let's learn that book before I forget. So, Lightning Strike. Not bad. At some point, we're going to have to teach Eric all of the spells we know just because, right? Uh, oh yeah, we... Let's see if there's anything else. So we had already learned that enchantment from those gauntlets. Is there anything else we can break down that we just picked up? So what we'll do now, we are two carry weight away from being over encumbered. And that's it. We, uh, oh here, let me, let me showcase it, right? The, the rueful axe here. Look, look at the amount of gold it's worth. It's worth more than our staff of storm atronox, right? Which we haven't used yet in an emergency. Ooh. Very fancy. But it's cursed, so we won't use it. Uh, we'll switch back to this. And I think what we'll do, because we we have all of that stuff that we have to sell. So I'm going to make my way. Oh, what's this? Yeah, we'll, we aren't going to stop at the Statue of Muria. We're going to continue to Solitude. We're going to sell all those goods. And that's probably not going to be anything very interesting unless I buy something. And then I'll take the carriage to Riverwood just to kind of make this nice and quick. So that'll be our next step. All right, what we're actually gonna do is put a healing aura on. A little bit injured. Hey, nice, okay. That's pretty good. Oh, oh, we just got a level up, okay. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, throw that Throw that before we transition too, right? We'll throw that in. We'll, what should we invest in, right? Maybe more Magicka. I think our health is pretty good. I must be, I don't know what's up. Oh, you know what? We can start investing in these, right? All shouts are more powerful. Interesting. Damage from enemy shouts is reduced by 50%. That's probably totally worth it. Actually, just putting uh, perks right into that, right? Shouts last 15% longer. Um, exchange a perk point for a dragon soul? Huh. I don't know about that. Uh, allows you to once a day shout repeatedly with no cooldown for five seconds. So it's basically, oh, it doubles the duration of uh, the Nord's tongue trance. That's pretty cool. We're gonna hold on to our perk points for now, and uh, I'll see if I can figure out what we're gonna spend them on. So, all right, back to back to the original plan. All right. So we'll use the smelter here. We'll make a bunch of steel. How much charcoal do we have? So, like, I guess we'll. We'll smelt all of these down, but... Oh, you know why? Because we have a bunch of um, iron items, so I guess we will keep some of the iron. Like, those all require steel, but like... 
So how much XP will this give us? Some. Just do it. Why not, right? But we have like zero. Yeah, steel's way better. Did I level up? Or no, I guess we rolled back, right? How's this? Like nothing. So we're not gonna improve the Imperial Swords because they don't give any XP. So we'll put it in Magicka again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what we got? Ooh, okay. That's like barely any improvement at all. Same. I don't know if it's based on like how well you improve them, but... do all the iron crap because we have so much iron that I don't even want to bother with it. <laughs> there, it's out of the way, right? So, like, if we do one of these, it, it does. It gives a decent amount of XP, so. More iron. We should be able to get, what? We eke a level out of that, right? Yeah, so we went up two levels. Hmm. Looks like most of this other stuff requires either either we can't. Oh no, we don't have any. Either we can't improve it more, or we don't have any leather. Hmm. Okay. Pretty simple, right? Now I'm like ninety percent sure that we won't be able to sell him anything. But if we can, that would be. <laughs> uh, yeah, your see, back, he's close. Oh, maybe. Need something? Oh, I think we got a speech level up too. Um, we can't trade, right? No, we can't do any trading. Oh, we will. Of course. Hey, he can train us in smithing though. But so that was pretty good. We got a speech level up too. We're like, we're already. Uh, a third of the way to level 35. All right, so we are now in Riverwood and you might be able to see in the bottom right corner of the screen, we have 54,000 gold. We ended, so how, how much gold was that? I don't remember how much we started with. I think it was like 30K. So we got like at least 15 to 20,000 gold from all of that stuff. It's ridiculous. At first I thought I'd miss. So of course I, Am, no, I, I'm actually not over is encumbered, which is pretty good. Need? But we're gonna throw a couple things on the horse here. Uh, we got rid of the a couple of the animals we just got rid of, right? One of the deer and one of the wolves didn't want to have to deal with, but we were able to get all those other ingredients. And I'm just gonna clean up my inventory here. So uh, that should be good, right? Yep. So inventory is looking a lot clearer. Oh yeah, we still have the rufal axe. Good. So now we are going to run in here and rent the attic room, you remember, is what we have to ask for. And then somebody should speak to us. Hey, I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. I'd like to rent the attic room. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Okay. What does it actually say? Um, <laughs> what do we do? Sleep? Alright, we'll take a nap. So you're the dragonborn I've been spawner. hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. Hey! We need to talk. Follow me. Alright, we got the horn. All right, let's see what she has to say. Is that an elven bow? No, it's a glass bow. 
Dang. All right, come here. Part of this too. Close the door. Now we can talk. Ooh. Fancy. Wow. All right, so who are you? The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Uh, so you're the one who took the horn. Surprise. I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. Uh, <laughs> what's with all the cloak and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. Hmm. Well, what do you want with me? I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need mm. you to hear me out. All right. Um, I don't have time for this. No, I'm listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. Uh, let's see. What's a good question? Um, the Thalmor are after you? Yeah, well, they're after kind of everyone, so... How, how do I know that I can trust you, huh? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. Well, you're an even bigger fool to assume that I can't handle myself, right? Um, why, so why did... Yeah, we, we know why she took the horn, right? To talk to us. Why are you looking we for a dragon? We remember what most don't. That the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You're oh. the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Uh, I'm, I absorb some kind of power from dragons. That's all I can say. This is no time to play the reluctant hero. You either are or aren't Dragonborn. But I'll see for myself soon enough. Uh, yeah, why are the yes. Thalmor after you? We're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important mm. right now. What is important is that you might be dragonborn. Yeah, what's what's the part you're the not telling me? Get on with it. Back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. Hmm. <sighs> All right, what makes you think they come back to I know life? they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty, and I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Yeah, do you know how crazy that sounds? <laughs> A few years ago, I said almost the same thing to a colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. Hmm. All right. Uh, then where where are we headed? There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Yeah, I'm not ready to go I yet. I can't wait around for you to make up your mind. I'll meet you at Kynes Grove. Don't waste time getting there. We remember that dragon, right? We use two superlative potions. Kinds grow. Uh, Let's get I'm on stuck. the road to Kinds Grove. There we go. Huh, okay. Um Alright, let's go. No, hold on. We're just looking around. Uh I'm guessing Eric we we didn't have the ability to ask, but I'm assuming that we're allowed to take some stuff from down here. Okay. I mean, after all, You've got the inn till I get back. we are the Dragonborn. Happy trails. Unfortunately, there isn't too much that's actually worth anything down here, but it's okay. Book of the Dragonborn, which which apparently we haven't read, but no, that's okay. We'll we'll leave all that stuff there for now. Oh, oh we can't take that one though. Ooh. All right, so there we go. We got the horn of Jorgen Winkle. Huh? this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. 
No, we have some other business I have to take care of. So we are now going to head south down the road through Helgen back to return to the shrine of Clavicus V. That is going to be our next happy little step. Whoa! <laughs> that was a pretty cool trick, Eric, but please use your own horse. Thank you. Alright, oh, it took, took forever to freaking run through this cave. Uh... I think I want to keep the axe. The axe isn't the only item dear old Glavicus has. Give him the rueful axe, and once we're reunited, the mask of Clavicus Vile will be yours. Oh, really? Okay, Lead follow me. Way. So, we could have been running around with an invincible dog for a while, but we decided against that, right? Oh my goodness. What is that? I was kind of sidestep them a little bit here. You've got the axe and my dog. Splendid. Uh, we're back. Fulfill your end of the bargain. Excellent work. A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. Kill Barbus? Hmm. What do you guys think? Should we kill the dog? Or should we keep the axe? Not the dog! No! <laughs> no more dead dogs. No deal. Take the axe. And take back your weird talking dog. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me. Oh, baby. I knew I could trust you. Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic axe. Everyone's happy. Just get over your mutt. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you, now you trust me. Oh. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. You forget oh. how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. <laughs> It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Or maybe a few decades of... Oh, fine. Have my bone and be done with it. <laughs> Got more interesting deals to make anyway. Yay! So I believe this this is our first Daedric uh, artifact, right? Other than the Rufal Axe, which, I mean, we, we didn't officially have it with us yet. So here it is, the Mask of Clavicus Vile. Bad, right? How does it look? So by the way, the the inventory item looks a little bit from the uh, the modded version that I have here, right? So I installed a mod just to make it look a little bit cooler. And just just for the comparison, right? The uh, where is it? This this is what it normally looks like, and you know that's like there's there's a nice side by side comparison, right? It's like ah uh, okay, I prefer this style a little bit better. This is a mod that I was familiar with, so we upgraded to the, in my opinion, significantly cooler version. But excellent, God, it's worth a hundred thousand gold. The mass aura bewitches those around the wearer, making him or her appear otherworldly, otherworldly charismatic. Interesting. So we'll put we'll put back our uh, normal helmet for now, right? Excellent. So what we'll do, just out of curiosity here, 
There's, there's nothing else yet that respawned in there. Looks like all the vampires are still gone, though. So we'll continue out this way. To our emergency little side exit there. And we are going to continue north to Iverstead and drop off the Horn of Jorgen Windcaller. And that is going to complete our initiation to become part of the Greybeards. So to be like fully honored as Dragonborn by the Greybeards. After we do that, we actually forgot a word wall back in, where is it? The uh, Ustengrav, we forgot to get the word wall that was down in there, like I saw it, and I assumed it would wrap us around, it didn't. And we also get a special surprise if we go back there after we drop off the, uh, the horn to High Hrothgar. So that is what we're gonna be ending the episode with, is we're gonna go return the horn and then we're gonna travel to Ustengrav or whatever it's called. So first, First we'll just nice, nice and carefully jump down. Blah. Throw on a healing aura. Alright, let's go. There he is. Ah, good to see you again. What types of deliveries they make? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. What's the point? Uh, in return, well, what do you get? it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I can do it for you. I'm headed up there now. Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Nice. Right then. All right, we're here. Now, do we have those robes? No, Eric has them. It just feels right, some. Of course. Yeah, Eric, can you give me these graybeard robes and i don't think we're gonna take the hood lead on so we have the mask of practice file so first first we drop off our uh clinic su supplies that we grabbed right so there we go easy peasy and when we go in there what we're gonna do is we're gonna wear our graybeard robes as well as our mask here so, oh, and uh, we'll, we'll take off our gauntlets because those look kind of janky. But this, this will be our ceremonial acceptance garb. Here, you know what, just because... Oh, it, they still show up on our back, interesting. But... Oh, I'm over-encumbered! That's fine. We'll, uh... In that case, what we'll do is I'll equip my, uh, my greatsword. That didn't reduce... Interesting, I thought that was going to reduce its, um, weight effects by equipping it. It's kind of weird. It's okay, I know how to get there faster. <gasps> We're back! <laughs> We're back! It's the easiest way to tell everyone right here. We'll just First give some stuff to Eric. What do you need? Eric, could you please hold... I don't know, what what can we give him that's weighing us down here? How, how about 50,000 gold? You lead, I'll follow. Yeah, that helped our weight quite a lot. Oh, that's his beard. I was like, what is that? Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimthor. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Oh yeah. Oh. So where is this happening? Is it uh Oh I think it's over yeah, over there, right? So we'll we'll wait for him to get in position, because I don't want it to start anything without them all being ready. Sometimes it can get wonky like that, right? Ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da. 
which means push. What? Duh. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now gift you with his knowledge of Dark. Thanks, brah. Oh, where's power? Nice, we got an achievement too. We would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. If you can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeard. You are ready. Eric, you <laughs> 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 Dovahkin, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. All right. Excellent. So we are now officially a dragonborn. Now, normally we would have ended the episode right there, looking super freaking awesome. But we have some unfinished business left in Ustengrav. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly jump to there, learn the shout that's there, and then we're going to activate... Uh, the horn of Jorgen Windcaller, which I think should already be back there. I don't think there's a time delay for it. For, oops, that's the favorites tab. For an extra little bit of surprise. I was wearing an amulet of Debella the whole time. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. I'm sure, I'm sure they don't judge, right? Um, <laughs> so, well, let's see. We'll put this back on. We'll switch back into our normal, oops, our normal gear. Yep, looking good. And we'll head back to do some drop. Alright. So we made it. Ooh. There we go. Become ethereal is what we have unlocked. Very nice. It's kind of dark. Very fancy. I don't think there's any chests down here, and even if there is, it's probably just not worth it. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run back up, and we're just gonna quickly jump to the uh, the horn because it's kind of a walk, right? All right, there we go. Saved a little bit of time. Ran right over the, the hot plates. And if this does what I expect it to... Okay, fine. There we go. I was like, come on! Gives you a free bonus dragon sword. Right, and I believe that is going to be our episode for the day. So we managed to, wow, we did a lot of things, right? We returned the uh, the Rufal Axe. We got, here, we'll, we'll end with the uh, mask on, right? Got Mask of Clavicus Vile. We returned the Horn of Jorgen Windcaller. We now know the full unrelenting force shout, right? Very excellent. So up next, probably in the next episode, we are going to be getting Dawnbreaker and fighting the uh, the necromancer that has defiled her town. Everything so. in here seems to be about death. So I will see you then. Funeral shrouds, 